Not only has Conor McGregor been active on Twitter, inserting himself socially into almost every single UFC fight, he has been active recently in Ireland in an exhibition match. And in this one, it does look like he dominates a bit. He does pull off some of his signature moves with putting his hands behind his back. Let's watch. On episode 128 of the Below the Belt podcast, Brendan Scubb comments on BJ Penn's wife restraining order situation against BJ Penn. Let's listen in. What else you got? All right, this is another sad one. BJ Penn was given a restraining order from that girl he was dating for a long time, has kids with. And it... In, all the stuff that's happening, it reminds me of the Matt Hughes stuff too, right? CT, I'm telling you, man. Dude, I, yeah, I had a conversation with Rose Gracie and what she's doing for specifically MMA fighters with brain trauma and what she's doing, trying to get them help. And I can't say the name she's working with, it's names everybody would know and how bad they're dealing with brain trauma. Dude, I'm telling you, we're at the very tip of the iceberg yeah. on how fucked up MMA is for you. You're starting to see it now. Matt Hughes, starting to see it with these guys. BJ Penn, I'm telling you, you're legends. It's, it, it, it doesn't happen until there's a significant guy gets caught with this stuff. And getting caught mean it kind of shows how bad the sport is after all the years. And if this is true, like this has been going on for a while, like the, the families and friends, they kind of hide it because they, they have these huge names. They don't want to like ruin their lives. So she says she hid it for like 10 years. It was going on for 10 years. There's like a lot of bad stuff in there too. Is there? Yeah. Like what? He got upset at her once and then he was like, do um, you think just because you're a woman, you're, you can't get knocked the fuck out? And then he woke up one day and he noticed it was his cocaine. Apparently he's like a heavy cocaine user. These are just allegations, right? It got on his daughter. Like he found cocaine, like he was doing it and it somehow got on his daughter and then he tried to commit suicide or he said he's gonna commit suicide. All those little things that you were talking about before. They're all kind of similar, right? Suicidal thoughts, being really mean to your wife, or it's all the same. Yeah. Look at the junior say, "Okay, great guy." And then all of a sudden, you don't know who he is. But there's all, there's all, there's all similarities with his case, Tony Ferguson's, Matt Hughes. There's all similarities. What do we think? It is just a coincidence. I'm telling you, man. Ten years, it's gonna be trouble. What else you got? All right, let's go ahead. That's some heavy shit. I love BJ Penn. He's the nicest guy. I'll keep going. If you have not already, hit that subscribe button with its notification bell so you can stay up to date with my future uploads and drop a comment in the comment box below of what you thought of the video and tune in for more on MMA News Outlet.